Hey there guys, Raj here. I hope you guys are well. Today I'm doing a review on a fragrance from the house of Byredo. Now this is not a, a house that I've spoken about too much on my channel. Um, it's a, it, it's, I've kind of had like mixed luck with them, with their fragrances. A couple of them I think are really good. Others just don't really do it for me. What about this one that I'm reviewing today? This one is called Bordelaire. Will I like it? Will I be indifferent? Will I dislike it? Stay tuned to find out. So Bordelaire, um, well, in terms of prices, actually, 100 ml of this Eau de Parfum will sell for around 142 pounds. And uh, the notes for this one in the top, there's black pepper, there's caraway, there's juniper berries. In the heart, there's hyacinth, incense and leather. And in the base, there is black amber, papyrus and patchouli. So we've got a pretty interesting bunch of uh, ingredients in there. I'm working off this sample here that... Um, I got from the company uh, Aus Liebe zum Duft, or First in Fragrance. It's a German-based website, and uh, I haven't bought from them in, in a while, actually, but I have quite a lot of samples from them, or have had lots of samples from them in the past, and have a few um, that I still need to go through. And it's a good website to to get some fragrances. You can get them for like maybe three, four, five euros. Sometimes they get a little bit more expensive, but I think it's a good way of checking out something that is maybe new to you or not very accessible. So, Barredo uh, Bordelaire. First thing I have to say is, I actually, I really like this fragrance. It has a couple of um, negative points in there, but overall, I think this is a really, really nice fragrance. Um, performance on me was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. I was getting around five or six hours, and it was on that, it was, it, it was on that sort of border where I'm not thinking it's terrible, but it's not great at the same time. Wouldn't have minded six, seven, eight hours. Um, but if you're going out for like an evening, five or six hours on your skin probably is a good amount of time, I'd say. Um, so it didn't, never really pushed off my skin too much. It felt like a one that was slightly closer to my skin. And it's a subtle fragrance, it, subtle fragrance I felt. It's not loud, but it has some nice complexity there and... I think it's a good fragrance, maybe from the full size bottle, when you do proper sprays it will last a little bit longer potentially, but um, no, it wasn't the greatest performer. Uh, season wise, I feel this is almost all year round, in fact, you could probably get away with this on a summer night when it cools down slightly, although to be honest, I think autumn, winter... Um, are probably the best months, slightly cooler weather. I think this one just performs really nicely. Um, I feel like it's a very masculine fragrance. Uh, I've mentioned this so many times on my channel, you know, masculinity and femininity and fragrance, it's all down to your personal interpretation. I interpret this as very, being a very masculine fragrance. I think it would smell slightly strange on a woman, if I'm honest. And I do feel it's more of a slightly formal, slightly upscale, Maybe you could you could easily wear this to work. You could wear this to go into a bar, um, going to an event, something like that. It doesn't really feel casual, but you know you can do what you want ultimately. So what what this fragrance really overall, if I had to summarize it in a couple of words, is supple leather, um, smooth spices uh, coming from black pepper, slightly green, almost tobacco-y in some ways and it's smooth, it's very pleasing to the nose. Um, some of the notes in there, like the incense and the, and um, I think there's, was it patchouli? Yeah, patchouli, papyrus, black pepper. You might think this might be a little bit too much, a bit intense, not really. It's actually quite a smooth fragrance. In the opening, I get this really, really nice, really smooth, um, very thick black pepper. Uh, aroma that is just really fantastic. I, I like it a lot and it's mixed in there with uh, almost fresh green leafy uh, Intensely green tobacco leaf note um, Tobacco leaf is actually if you've ever smelt it It's really intensely green slightly spicy Maybe the patchouli and the papyrus is giving me also this feel and contributing to a kind of slightly woody uh, papery type of feeling it's, it's, it's really nice. As the fragrance goes on, that's pretty much what you're going to be getting. And the leather comes through a little bit and it's quite a supple leather. And I feel like it's a smooth leather that has been almost like um, polished or cleaned or 
um, not cleaned, what am I trying to say? It's been like covered in this spicy kind of oil. So you've got this oil mixture of black pepper and maybe some of the juniper berries and some patchouli. You've just like smoothed it out over this very, very leather that is already very smooth, Le left it to dry and you get this kind of effect. It's very masculine, it's a very strong scent. Um, it kind of has a kind of tobacco-y feel to it. Really nice, really, really like this fragrance. And um, that's pretty much what I get with this fragrance. Unfortunately, it just doesn't push off my skin too much. It doesn't really last a huge amount of time. But I think it's one of those fragrances where maybe you can just put up with that. Sometimes you get that with fragrances. You really like the scent, but the performance isn't there. But because you really like the scent, you put up with bad performance and maybe you respray or you wear it on an occasion where you don't need to smell great the entire day. Just for a few uh, a few hours is perfectly fine. It's a good fragrance. I definitely think it's worth checking out. For me, it's one of the better ones in the whole Byredo range. And uh, thinking of back, I think I've only owned one bottle, the Saffron one. I, don't, I can't even remember the name. Um, it's like the female equivalent of, or it's been said, it's like the female equivalent of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. The name is just not coming to my mind. In some ways, actually, this one does kind of remind me also of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather, but not as harsh and um, too strong. It's like a more subtle, more refined version of that, but also kind of a little bit different as well. Overall, I think it's a good fragrance. I'm going to go with a rating of 8 out of 10. I would have liked to have gone higher if the performance had been there. Um, I think this potentially could be a, a full bottle worthy fragrance for me. It's not high up on that list, but I'm going to think about it. So guys, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this fragrance? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Not really. You're in the middle. What about Byredo? What are your, some of your favorite fragrances from Byredo? Always great to hear your thoughts. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.